Good morning, everyone. Today's topic is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. Gro Glory to the Grower As written by Chatil Dixon Published in Our Daily Bread, Diary Edition, Volume 26 One day, I noticed an unexpected splash of yellow to the right of our driveway. Six stalks of daffodils sandwiched between two large stones bloomed bright and tall. Because I hadn't planted, fertilized, or intentionally watered the bulbs, I couldn't figure out how or why the flowers had sprouted in our yard. Jesus illustrated a mystery of spiritual growth in the parable of the growing seed. He compares the kingdom of God to a farmer scattering seed on the ground. The one who scattered the seed may have done what he could to care for the soil. But Jesus said the seed sprouted whether or not that man slept in, woke up, or even understood the growth process. The landowner benefited from the harvest, though its development didn't depend on what he did or his understanding of the workings beneath the surface of the soil. The maturing of the seeds in Jesus' parable, like the blooming of my daffodils, occurred in God's time and because of God's growing power. Whether we're considering personal spiritual growth or God's plan to expand the church until Jesus returns, the Lord's mysterious ways aren't depending on our abilities or understanding of His works. Still, God invites us to know, serve, and praise the grower, reaping the benefits of the spiritual maturity He cultivates in and through us. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you for the growing, for growing us spiritually and using us to serve your people as you grow your kingdom. Amen. God deserves the glory for the growth of His people and His kingdom. Let us always give praises and thanksgiving to Him.